Hey friends, so today is a very special day. As you can probably already tell from the title, we got the call. Yes, our AD reached out to us and told us our 31mm Tiffany OP is finally available. I'm still in a state of shock on how fast we were able to get our hands on this piece. Looking back, my wife and I, we only started dipping our toes in the watch world three to four months ago. We were focusing primarily on Rolexes, and among all the models, the Tiffany OP is definitely on our long-term list. A list of watches we knew was so rare, we almost stood no chance in acquiring them at any AD. So it was more of a long-term waiting game. Because we are new to watches, we have no purchase history anywhere. And with Rolex and many other luxury watch brands, many of these authorized dealers require a purchase history before they would sell any of the rare watches to you. This would usually mean that you would have to purchase several more common watches or perhaps other products in a store like jewelries before getting on the wait list for your desired watch. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what we did and what we believe is most helpful if you're new to watches and you're looking to get one of the rarer ones or any watch that isn't readily available in the store. Number one, know exactly which watch you want. Be most specific, size, model, bracelet, dial color. If you're considering purchasing a Rolex, I would like to think you at least have a baseline idea of what you want. As much as I hate to admit it, when you walk into an AD without a clue of what you're looking for, the SAs will almost have no interest in selling you a watch. The demand for Rolex already exceeds its supply, so why would the AD sell a rare watch to someone who doesn't even appreciate it? Try to steer away from asking questions relating to the value of the watch and focus more on why you like the watch. Be as specific as possible in what you want. Number two, building a relationship with the AD. I can't stress how important this is, and I really think this was what got us our Tiffany. With no purchase history, it's almost like you're submitting a blank resume for a high paying job you're not qualified for. Your only leverage is being humble and being genuine in your interaction with the sales associate. We've spoken to many different essays from different ADs, and I'm proud to say we have a good relationship with all of them. And what we realized they all had in common is that they do not like dealing with rude, obnoxious customers. These may be rich clients who think flaunting their wealth will fast pass their way to getting their desired watch, or clients who are simply rude towards the SA, as if they are VIP customers deserving white glove service. Initially, we visited our 80s once a week, on average. Start by introducing yourself to each essays and letting them know clearly what you're looking for. Try out some watches while making conversation. This will help drive the conversation. For subsequent, subsequent visits and once the essays are more familiar with you, start getting to know them better and be genuine in building a relationship. And number three, be patient. More likely than not, you won't be hearing back from the 80s anytime soon. And trust me when I say I know how frustrating and helpless this process may seem. There will be many temptations out there like going gray or coming across a different watch that's slightly less desired. Unless you're swimming in cash, I believe most of us would consider Rolex a reasonably big purchase. So I would want to remind you to be patient. Acquiring a Rolex is a journey. The fun comes from the chase. When you shortcut it, the feeling of acquiring that special piece won't feel as great anymore. And that's it. Know what you want, build a relationship with your ADs, and be patient. I hope this helps you guys out there looking to get your first Rolex or luxury watch. And please share your experience in the comment section on how you got your first watch as well. Peace out.